Exports are projected to support Korea's economic rebound this year, but lackluster domestic spending and mounting geopolitical tensions may hinder growth. Moon Taehyun has the latest government assessment. South Korea's economy overall is showing signs of recovery, with sharp growth in exports and more stunted growth in facility and construction investment and private spending. The economic green book released by the Ministry of Economy and Finance on Friday show that while inflation is slowing and semiconductor exports are increasing, external conditions are continuing to contribute to economic uncertainties. Economic uncertainties continue with geopolitical tensions in the Middle East and the war in Ukraine, and there are mixed expectations of improvement in the IT industry and concerns about a weakening global recovery. December 2023 saw an overall growth of 5.1 percent in exports compared to the same month the year before, on the back of a recovery in South Korea's tech industry. Outbound shipments of chips increased by 13 percent on year, while ship and car exports jumped by 47 and 18 percent respectively. South Korea's exports performed well generally in the final month of 2023, as more than half of the country's 15 key export sectors saw a rise. The start of 2024 also saw a rebound in exports to China for the first time in 20 months. Consumer sentiment also showed an improvement with the Consumer Sentiment Index rising by more than two points compared to November. The on-year increase for consumer prices recorded in December was the lowest seen since July at 3.2 percent. That being said, retail sales, a key gauge of private spending, fell by 0.3 percent on-year. Retail sales in South Korea have been declining since the second quarter of last year, and while consumer sentiment was high in December, the government predicted that it was the major discount events for vehicles and other items that contributed to the high CSI. The price of fruit led an upsurge in prices, with oil prices on a downward trend in line with falling global crude oil prices. Facility and construction investment saw a decline on year in November, while production slowed for the service industry. The finance ministry said it would continue to manage potential risks such as real estate project financing and prioritize recovering price stability. Moon Hedian, Arirang News.